Hey everybody, this is Petey from Spin the Rack, and today I'm doing a video on what if John Byrne did a run on Batman. And now he's saying, we all know, Byrne has talked about not wanting to do Batman being one of his favorite characters, but how hard it is to do Batman. Well, I say it could have happened. You say, what? You don't believe me, do you? Right? Okay, so I think it's 2000, I don't know, when we leave DC. I think it was 2003, or four, something like that. So, after leaving Marvel, Burn does, goes to DC, does Lab Rats, does a couple of arcs on the JLA, he does um, a Hawkman thing, a couple Hawkman things. He does Lab Rats. I think I might have said that already. He does Blood of the Demon. He does Action Comics. And he's doing a Doom Patrol. And while he's doing these, I think Action is his ongoing thing. He knows that uh, Doom and the Blood of the Demon are, you know, they might be close to canceling. But he's doing action, so he's like, all right, kind of in the DC universe again, working with Gail Simone. He said he had two uh, two ones from DC. He wanted to work with Jeff Johns. They talked for a little while. And then he also wanted to do Batman. So he, and this image here is not the Batman of this time. This is Batman right around the, um, what's it called? The Art of John Byrne, like one of the first images I remember seeing the burn doing Batman, and I was pretty wild by it, so I was just like, oh man, this needs to happen, right? So he said, you know what? So being a Batman fan, what if I just what if I just draw it? What if we get a writer? Oh, I I'll offer myself up. And he said this online. He said that, hey, I'd like to do Batman. And he offered himself up to DC as pencils only doing Batman, right? So, and I guess they heard him, but the thing that happened at the same time, Paul Denny became regular writer of Detective Comics. And I think, I forget the artist that he was assigned to it, but there was also a lot of fill-ins. So it's kind of the title that Byrne could have done so him doing an actual run with um, Paul Denny at the same time and get whoever you want to get to ink it. But with that said, uh, let's go here to this image I have. Byrne did, uh, I just did what I could to darken it a little. And um, Byrne did uh, just a sketch to kind of say where, you know, what, you know, what his versions of the characters at this point in time, like 2000s were. So this was like the sketch he kind of did, right? Not, and he, I think he put it online, and then of course, some point later they sold. This was sold on Heritage, but it's just like, wow, this would be really good. And when I sold Paul Denny thing, I was just like, this is what should have. He should be doing this. They shouldn't be having these fill-in artists, right? They should just have Burn do it. Then Burn heard it and said, what? And then when the other titles had went away, um, Burn. Um, left DC, right? Because I think the thing that they offered him was Power Girl, right? And you see a picture of Power Girl in his um, in his Aunt Adam book. But at the same time, he's like this, I think he was saying before that he wants to do something right in the middle of the DC universe, like a regular title, right? So, and then of course they stopped action because they say they, they like to rotate um, creators after a year, which they stopped doing after that <laughs> that year. So ultimately, I'm going to give you some images that you can look at the end of here of um, what it would look like inked, right? Burn doing, you know, if he was doing inks, what I think he was going in since everything didn't that appear was pencil, but we'll see that in the end. Here's a colored a commission. These are all the commissions. This is a little earlier. This is like 91. Uh, that first Batman Predator, but I thought it would be a cool image to add here because it's, you know, well, it's just perfect. It's like one of the best images 
in the pinups of the Batman vs. Predator. This is uh, the Legend of the Many Deaths of Batman, the cover, one of the covers he did. Then we have Batman 3D, give you a feel what was going on. Here's some more commissions, right? There we go. This is another glorious commission, right? That's the one. This is really nice. Yeah, this is gorgeous, of course. Him versus the Marvel ones. Then another montage. And this one is uh, another against the Marvel villains. And this is him against his classic ones. And all of his Batman family. Then, of course, you got to add Mars Attacks. I mean, why else would you? Can't go any further besides that. Another commission. And then this is Pencil from Man of Steel, which I think this is the only one I've ever seen, right? And here's the pencils from the period, right? So this is 86 burn, and this is 2000s burn, right? So this is his pencils here, and they're very detailed. This is him doing full pencils on the JLA, on the Mother JLA storyline. That's another piece from JLA. And then we have from Blood and the Demon. I only have two of these, right? So everything else was comic book, so I just took the splash page in this. So you can see we've been heavily detailed, and we would have been a nice, I think he was on the Cold Dennis on the title for at least a year. Nice year long storyline with Byrne doing um, Batman. He probably might have wanted to do more. And ultimately, he wouldn't have uh, retired, you know, retired from DC at least. Right? So, um, but we wouldn't have gotten the glorious period of um, Byrne at IDW. But, um, you know, this is great to look at to see what his Batman would have been for this period of the 2000s because he offered himself up to DC and DC didn't oblige and then um, post a couple, you know, um, he basically said kind of time to kind of tools down because got a couple titles that are action packed titles and they're not selling. So, you know, you know, but then we had the great Chris Ryle who, um, you know, turned them into doing another 50 plus books or maybe up to 50 books. So, Good trade off, but this is the what if you know Burn had actually done the one on Batman in the 2000s, right? So there we go, Spinner Rack is out. <laughs>